Alright, so this video I'll show you how to do a cute cat in uh, ZBrush and then uh, I'll do the base model for this cat first I'll be using uh, PureRef to create the always on top image reference on my bottom left and uh, so let's get started Lightbox, open up a Dynamesh sphere, 1 to 8 Go ahead and open it up I'll change the resolution of the sphere from 1 to 8 to uh, 64 then I'll on and off Dynamesh so that it gets uh, remeshed. So the final resolution I have is 11,000 over here. Okay, so it's not too high. Off my perspective distortion, I'll press W. Go to customize, I'll change this to uh, taper on the bottom. Taper. So I repeat again. Gizmo, customize, taper. Okay, so I'm going to taper the bottom part of the cat so that it has a shape. More like this. Okay, so so I'm doing the base of the cat right now. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Then I'm just going to go to a side view. I'm gonna squash this a little bit so it doesn't look too fat. Okay, back to the front view. Uh, I think this is actually kind of okay. On my symmetry, then I'll use my snake hook to just eyeball and uh, tweak it a little bit maybe and uh, yeah so i think this shape is pretty okay for now i don't need to adjust too much i'll create another sphere on top okay so for this sphere i want to uh, use a pen so the pen is like inserting a sphere into this scene on a separate sub tool so i have a pen a sphere 3D. Okay, so by doing that, I created a sphere at the bottom, and then I'll just select the sphere and then I'll push it up. Okay, scale it bigger, wider, and uh, we are looking at the the ratio of the head. It's gonna be way bigger, guys. Okay, so way bigger, and okay, don't be afraid. Maybe I'll just squeeze the side a little bit so that the but it shouldn't be too much as well. From the front, I should still see nice cat. Okay, so so this one, I'll change this uh, resolution to 64 again, and then redynamesh this this uh, sphere. And once again, I'm gonna use taper. I want this head to have a tapered look at the bottom. And I'm wondering from the top, should I taper it a little bit too? Yeah, I should just a little bit. So it, it has the kind of roundness to it, you know? So it's like a, a bit like a pancake almost. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So I think uh, my my scale might be too big, so I just want to um, do a scale down on both my objects. So I on this uh, scale on both of my sub tools, and then I'll just scale both, both of this smaller a little bit. All right. 75% Alright, so I think the size is this way. I'm okay with that A okay Not too big, not too small Big headed cat That's fine Move this down a little bit Wait, okay, my I need to switch this off after I'm done So that I'm not always uh, moving All the the whole cat together. All right, so the side view is like this. Okay, so now I'm back on the front view. Uh, last step I'll do for this video is to create a cylinder for the ears. So I'll use a insert IMM primitive. So it's a IMM primitive on my brushes. So we go to brushes. You press I IMM primitive brush. There's something called cylinder extend. Okay, cylinder extend. So I'm gonna use this to create the ears. So I'll go to the side of the ears here, create it out, ta -da. and that's pretty good. Okay, I'll press W, change it to uh, taper again. So I'm using a lot of tapering for this uh, for this model. Let's taper it smaller. Then uh, I'm happy with the shape. But it's joined to the head right now. So every time you use an iron brush, we should press split our mass points, so that uh, you will be you will be created as another sub tool over here. 
created on a separate layer. So uh, this years will go on another layer. I'll rename this as years. Give it a dynamic resolution of 64. That seems good. And I'll just encode it a little bit with my uh, with my what do you call it? The symmetry on. Okay. Go to my side view. Uh, actually, I'll inflate it a little bit, make it a little bit fatter. ZBrush doesn't like shapes that is too thin. Then uh, I'm stretching my mesh a little bit, so dynamic mesh again, smooth as I need to. Hold on Shift, and then I stretch it down as I need to. So you see that uh, based on my reference, the uh, ear is pretty low. Okay, I'll uh, reset the mesh shape, and then uh, let me see over here. I'll orientate it by pressing alternate so that it's uh, facing straight on the ear. Okay, just now it used to be like this, right? Because I reset it. So I hold down alternate, I can just move my gizmo. And then I'll just put it right at the center. And then now I want to push my ear back. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so just be able to adjust my ear properly. <clears throat> okay, so I think that's pretty good for now. I use number one brush. I press alternate, push it in a little bit. I don't want to push too much. Uh, if I notice I'm pushing to the back, I would stop. You know, I because uh, it's supposed to be just very subtle. Just keep it a little bit subtle over here. And uh, smooth it a little bit. Start over here. Maybe I want to make this a little bit sharper. Do the whole. Yeah, so so far it's pretty good. Okay, so I think uh, that's the base silhouette of the cat for now. Okay, I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.